I'm Matt Schott with NFP's Management and Professional Liability Practice. I would say for 2022, we're using the theme of flight disability for management liability across all the major product lines. This is certainly welcome news against the past two years of insurer corrections on rate, retention, and capacity. Starting with DNO, there are three segments for consideration. Public DNO, on average, we expect to fall between flat to a 15% increase. Some exceptions to this range will be for the following classes. IPOs or initial public offerings in their second or third year of renewal, based on and predicated on what their IPO performance has been to date, and then those policyholders that have challenged risk profiles and recent claim experience. We do think publicly traded DNL will improve given the influx of new capacity we saw come into the market in 2020 and 2021. There are at least 12 new entrants that have come into the marketplace since that time, and they are currently writing business. Like other lines of insurance, DNO is a supply and demand product. We expect these new entrants to continue to put pressure on pricing, especially on the excess layers, which will ultimately inure to the benefit of buyers. We also expect private and not-for-profit DNO on average to be somewhere between flat to a 15% increase. Again, this is all predicated on risk profiles. The stronger the risk profile will lean towards flat and in some cases may see some decreases. And for weaker risk profiles or more concerning risk profiles, it may outweigh that 15% increase we predict on average. Fiduciary liability we predict on average to fall between flat to a 30% increase. The latter range is driven mostly by the excessive fee litigation trend that continues. Also, ESOPs and any other challenge risk profile from a pension plan perspective may outweigh that 30% increase. Crime and employment practices, we still expect on average to fall somewhere between flat to a 15% increase in those lines. The second half of 2022 will be interesting to watch as we do think this new capacity and improved underwriting profitability in most of these lines we may start seeing decreases with more regularity in the second half of the year. The key for policyholders in 2022, similar to 2021, will be risk risk differentiation, preparation, and conducting strategic meetings with your carrier partners. We hope our NFP market trend report is both helpful and insightful, and we look forward to working with you in 2022.